Okay, let's go into crude oil. Okay, we know we have three market profiles. Let's make this really simplified for you. We've got three profiles. I'm going to break it down here. Let's look at the top. We have the big red thick line, the big blue thick line, the big green thick line. What that is is volume profile. That takes all the volume in the market, all the algorithms, all the hedge funds, prop firms, professional amateur traders, and it produces this big green level, this big blue level, this big red thick line level. Why? Because the big red is high value area volume profile the blue line is the most volume that's traded in that particular instrument for the morning and that derives the red level and the green level greens low value area so you got this big red thick blue green and red levels that is volume profile that's actual the roadmap of the market for you in the morning on any market you trade it's going to create natural support and resistance the next one are these dots. You got the red dots and you got the green dots down here. Those are the two most important. The price profile, I'm not so much into the, the, the blue dots. I'm into the control point right here. The most volume is traded on volume profile. But the price profile, the red and green are very, very important. That's price profile. It's been around since 1985. Lastly, I got this thin red line and I got this thin green line down here. That's developing profile. As the market ticks along, it will profile or map the market to support resistance. So what you want to see, I have three profiles in the room though. I want to see a level that is stacked. I want to see all three profiles that are stacked on top of each other within a couple ticks. So when price was down here, when I got on the mic this morning, when price is right down here at this level, right here, at that level, I said we got a potential nice sell setup coming up into the brick wall, and I shaded this in right here. I shaded it in and said, hey, we have a nice potential brick wall. What's a brick wall? When three of my profiles stack within a few ticks of each other. And this works on all markets. It can stop the markets in its tracks. So I said, what we'll do is we'll look for market delta to turn in the Rinko bar for confirmation. Sure enough, we got market delta that turned right at the brick wall over here. Check it out right there. That's your entry at the close of that bar. Your entry is the open of the next bar. This is how you trade any market. The stop is two ticks above the swing high. There's your stop, two ticks above the swing high. All right, now you can see the market reacting off of this two, two time stack. I got volume profile down here. Volume profile, the big thick green line, and my developing, my thin green line. This is mapping the market for you. It's like when you go on vacation, you gotta have, right, your GPS on. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know where you're going. Same way with the market. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what, what the mar where the market potentially can go. These market profile levels, what they do is they map the market for you. This is a mapping indicator. It maps where support and resistance is. Look up comes right off of my support level. Now, I said this morning that we're in a flat range market. How did I know that? How did I know that we could sell the high and buy the low of low value and sell the high of high value? How did I know that? Why did I project that being a top? Because the magenta MA or trend filter is flat as a pancake across the chart. That tells me one thing. I need to sell the high. I need to buy the low. When you see a trend market like yesterday, there's a beautiful trend market. Look at this. It broke our profile. It broke all our profiles. Look at the magenta MA. It was angled down steeply. That's when we have big trend days. We had over a $1,000 trade risking 130 bucks potential on this one. Why? Negative market delta turned right here, and look how it got below all my value levels. There's no support. This is called a black hole in the market. That's a trend day. That's what a trend day looks like. This is what a range day looks like. Sell the high, buy the low, and stack levels. So trend, you're going to get away from profile. Very simple, not hard to remember, muscle memory in the market. This market's very orderly. Markets are very, very orderly. 
Got below low value, nothing holding us up. Beautiful short. Now today, my projected high, how did I know that's where my projected high was? Because the profiles are mapping the market for me. This is not my opinion. It's not your opinion. This is the market telling me that that is where resistance is. That's where all three indicators are stacking on top of each other, which I call a brick wall. Three times stacked, huge resistance to get through. Two times stacked, will move the market. So what's nice is I had a negative Renko bar exactly when I had a negative market delta. It gave me confluence. Okay? So you find your trend. If trend is flat, the Magenta MA, we don't buy and sell moving averages, crossovers, or anything like that. That's for amateur traders. We let the market tell us what to do, though. The market said, hey, this could be a potential top in a range market. And now it's projected all the way down here at 42. I said in the 60s, look for the high. There's your high. Caught it. Went right down to my market profile. Caught the low. That's not luck. That's not by chance. That's the market. It's mapping the market for you. It's major support and resistance. These are electronically traded markets. Gerald, go over to crude, gold, I mean. Let's look at gold. Gold the same way. What I say this morning on gold, I said we are in a wedge pattern. We are in a rising wedge. And what I say when we're down here, right here, down here, members in the room, what did I say? This is a key level. You buy the two times stack level until it breaks. Now, once this breaks, the target will be all the way up to the stack level up here again, which it hit. Once it breaks this rising wedge, we know what to do. It's going to break. We look for rotation back up. Here's our next trade. And then we'll look for a crack all the way down for a possible $800 potential trade, all the way down to the previous low. But look how that worked out well. Now, this was a two-time stack level. Why? Let's take a look at it. The price was sitting right here at my low value area when I was talking about it. I made that little box. I said this is the bottom of the trend line. You keep buying the bottom of the trend line and market profile because it is a rising wedge until it breaks. Rising wedges become bearish when they break. So you let it break, let it retest, get short. What's my target? I said the target is a brick wall. Look what I marked up. Where's price go? Right to the brick wall. So this is, this is market, uh, mapping market technology that we've developed. It really is. It tells you, it gives you a roadmap. Your job as a trader is to find out where these levels stack. And it's very easy to see. I mean, it's, if you look at this, if I take this off, you can clearly see, clearly, without a shadow of a doubt, that these levels are stacked with a couple ticks of each other. You can clearly see down here on gold, you can clearly see they're stacked within a couple ticks of each other. Gerald, go back to crude. You can clearly see on crude over here, see the crude? Gerald, switch to crude. Switch to crude, Gerald. Thanks, man. You can clearly see on crude over here, they're clearly stacked, bunched up together. You can clearly see down here, they're stacked with a couple of ticks each, of each other. That's all we got to do, guys and gals. You find out what the trend is. The market can only do two things. It's going to trend or it's going to chop. You're going to trend three, chop two. You're going to chop three, trend two. If you don't know how to trade both markets, you can't trade the markets. And I don't care what you trade. This works on the S&P 500, 400, NASDAQ futures, Dow minis, the DAX. I like the DAX personally. I mean, it works on all markets right across the board. Okay, it doesn't matter. You can plug and play this thing on anything that, that any market out there because it's mapping the market for you, okay?